And now to a school scare. Glassboro police say there is no credible danger to students after schools were ordered to shelter in place this morning following a social media threat. Eyewitness News South Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner is live in Glassboro where he spoke to parents trying to pick up their children. Brandon, a very stressful day for parents and their students. Absolutely, Jess. Parents we spoke to say they were desperate for any bits of information they could get. Glassboro police even had to go on social media to warn against social media rumors that were spreading. Glassboro father Ivan Concepcion interrupted our interview for something much more important. You never know because the only thing that you could think of, oh, this is my daughter. Actually, she's in the school right now. His daughter goes to Thomas Bow Middle School where she and her classmates were ordered to shelter in place. What's going on in there? I don't know. We're in a um, shelter in place. Are you? You're in a shelter. What? In place. You're in place. Are you okay? What's the matter? I don't know. I'm just in a shelter in place. Concepcion raced to her school after hearing the order. At the time, police would only say there was an active investigation, and contrary to social media rumors, there was no active shooter threat. I feel a little bit better. You know, she said that she was scared earlier, but she's been texting us back and forth, and um. She said that she's scared and that she just wants to come home, but there's nothing that we can do right this second. He says Glassboro police wouldn't let parents pick up their children until the district lifted the shelter in place order a few hours later. Investigators say a social media threat targeting an unspecified Glassboro school turned out to originate from another state, and there was no credible danger, though officers were still posted outside schools as a precaution. Everything good? Yeah. Concepcion eventually got to safely pick up his children. Yeah, I asked them if they wanted to get to the after school program, and they said no, they're ready to come home. They had Today. Police say there's an ongoing criminal investigation involving multiple agencies. We requested interviews with the superintendent and chief of police, but neither were available. Live in Glassboro, Brandon Goldner, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Brandon, thank you for that.